Hi guys. Okay, this is your rotational squat to press out. It is a super functional movement pattern. Um, and what I mean by that is um, you can liken it to um, lifting heavy boxes and carrying them. Um, so if you're like moving this month um, or if you're like helping to build a house for Habitat for Humanity, um, this is really going to help you out. Um, if you're in the service industry and you're lifting like heavy racks of uh, wine glasses, this will translate to that as well, right? Um, so rotational squat, first and foremost, um, is going to start in a regular Regular squat position, feet are shoulder width apart, toes rotated slightly outward. Um, and what you're going to do is you're going to rotate into your standing leg like hip, right? So we're now facing this like down stage right diagonal with our hips. Cool. So you want to turn the toes in. And you can like kind of practice what that feels like switching from one side to the other because that's actually what you're going to be doing um, is part of this uh, variation, right? So it's almost like an Elvis move, right? Like, um, okay, so you're going to be turning inward and you're going to be squatting down, right? So my knees are rotating outward, right? Um, it's like turn out from the hips and think of like reaching on the diagonal. Reach out, switch, press. Bring it back in, squat down. Now notice my chest is pretty upright. I'm not rounding, right? I'm not really truly hinging. I'm pretty much kind of sitting down into a hole. It's like you're reaching down for a cinder block. You're picking up the cinder block, bringing it to your chest, and you're passing it to your partner, right? So literally imagine I'm building a house and I'm doing it block by block and I'm on a mid-level platform. And there's somebody below me that I have to reach down and grab, and then there's somebody above me that I have to uh, pass off to, right? So um, I think it's kind of a really cool metaphor. So we're reaching down, chest is upright, shoulders are pat, bring that cinder block to your chest, and up, right? And note the footwork. You're turning toward the right corner, boom, left corner, right? Um, one other thing to think about is rib cage placement, right? So here, we are, um, like I said, upright, proud chest. Rib cage is staying nice and closed. Bring that uh, belt to your chest, right? And at the top, we are not leaning back, right? Once you load this, you're going to see that there's going to be kind of um, like a predisposition to want to lean back, right? So don't do that. <laughs> um, think of pressing out on the diagonal and keeping the rib cage closed. It's almost like you're planking, right? So I want you to feel that same kind of engagement in the uh, abdominals and the closure of the rib cage, just as you would in your plank on the ground. Cool? So as you're pressing out, think of all of this closing, zipping together with a nice exhale. Cool, so I'll show you what it looks like with a bell. You can use a dumbbell or a kettlebell. Um, for you, uh, those of you working out at home, if you have anything like a water jug or something, um, something a little bit heavy with some weight to it, use that too, right? Um, you can be creative. So I'm gonna clean the bell to my chest. I'm gonna squat down and pick the cinder block up for my partner, right? So I'm going to rotate into that hip. I'm going to reach down. I'm grabbing it from them. Okay, bring it to my chest. Rotate, bring it back in, now you notice that the diagonals that I'm pressing out on don't have to be really dramatic. I'm not pressing up above my head, I'm also not reaching down toward the floor, think out, I'm pushing it out, I'm collecting to my chest, I'm pushing it out. The slower you go with these guys, um, the more you're going to feel these in your abdominals, right? Um, so again, use your breath, right? Um, find an exhale maybe on the down, definitely an exhale at the top. That'll help you close those ribs out. Um, don't forget to be rotating toward the diagonal, keeping the chest nice and upright and shoulders packed um, throughout the movement. It's going to work your shoulders, your arms, your abdominals, and you definitely will feel this in your heart. <laughs> It'll be cardiovascular too. Um, so thanks guys. That is your rotational squat to press out.